Katie Counseling. Welcome. I'm going to keep my glasses on because it's super, super bright out. And I don't feel like squinting this whole time. So, before we get started, check me out at Katie Counseling. Let me know if you have any questions. I have a lot of people that reach out to me about um, different programs and accreditations and stuff like that. And it is honestly interesting for me to look up different things in different states or in Florida. I'm actually going to get kind of into that here in a second, but I wanted to address just a couple of things before. Um, I've been wanting to upload Tuesday, Thursday, and when was it Sunday? And I am going to do that. I promise. That's my goal. At least three, three videos a week. I've uploaded like what is it like 80 something in the past year so I stick to that kind of but it's not always on those days there's days where YouTube literally takes all day to upload it and then there's times where it uploads the video in like 20 minutes so if I do if I plan content ahead of time I can do it but that content for me is usually something like a sit down and I'm talking about something specific like my past few videos, like what is practicum, what is internship, that's like a standard thing. When I make these videos, it's kind of on a need to know what I'm going through, what I'm learning about basis. So I don't really want to put like a timeline or a date on this content because it's truly from a student, you know, to you guys. It's what I'm doing and I want to talk about it. So I get on here and I talk about it. So I'm gonna um, make sure I upload constantly. I, I will try to do the Tuesday, Thursday, because those are really good days for YouTube, but we will see. Today, um, I wanna just go over a couple of things. Again, this is gonna be a little update video, uh, what's going on in school, things like that, because again, there's different seasons to this journey, guys. Um, and that's why I started recording my experience in May, last May, because I want people to get a reference of what does it look like in this program. And I have a lot of questions that people ask me and there's not really like an easy answer to certain things because, okay, so one of the things that a lot of people ask me is, how long do you study for? And for being Claudia, to give you the answer is, I honestly do things, you know, you do things your way. There's people that want to sit there and read everything word for word, get the thorough amount of information, and if you're that type of student, and by this time, if you're in a master's, you probably know what type of student you are, it's going to take you a long time if you want to really be there in it, know word for word all the concepts like really know them not just you know read through it it's gonna be you're gonna be studying a lot and I have classmates that do nothing else but are in this program and at certain times you can see that in their responses it's I'm not gonna say it's more thorough than mine is but you can see that they're literally picking apart everything out of what we learned and I learn it too. I learn it in my way and I sometimes go over things faster than they maybe would, but I'm still grasping everything I need to grasp to have an A in the class, okay? So it's not like I'm failing or getting Ds or, you know, I'm not just doing bare minimum. But also that's how I learn. I have personal abilities to look into things, understand what is asked of me, get to the bottom of what is due, what I need to do, and understand and get it done fast. I don't give myself time to like overdo it because I feel like if you're stuck on one subject for too long, unless you're like an expert in that subject, there's no point, honestly. When you're going to be in your clinical practice or if you're going to be studying for the test or this or that, like... For, the, for example, studying for the test, you're gonna study for that test for three months before. Yes, is me reading chapter five this week of my program 
may help me conceptualize certain things that day when I'm taking my licensure exam? Sure. Am I really gonna remember what it says? No. I'm gonna remember what the guide, the study guide said before the exam, you know, like my practice exam, whatever I will do before. So, you know what I'm saying? There's, I feel like there's multiple ways to really go through school. And I don't know guys, like I work, I go to school, I have a family, like I do what I gotta do to get a good grade, to understand what I'm doing, but I'm not stressing over it. So there's weeks where I will sit there for two to three hours on a Sunday and I have everything done. And then there's weeks where every single day I'm in the car listening to the book, I'm reading over notes, I'm highlighting, I'm writing papers, I'm taking tests, and it takes two to three hours every day. It's so different. But I feel like those weeks where it's like super intense is, is less than when it's a little bit easier. And the two to three hour <laughs> what I just mentioned, that's rare, okay? <laughs> that is rare. It, it's, it's, I don't know, I, I don't know. When you read those syllabuses or syllabi, it says it has to be this many hours a week of whatever. So just read what you're required to do and do the best you can and I think you'll be fine. Okay, the second thing that I've, that has come out of this experience since last May of me being on YouTube and an on, uh, can't talk, and on Instagram is I am like the person that people really like message. Like I never thought you guys would actually message me and be like, hey, help me out with this. And I love doing it. It's really interesting. Um, but people are like, hey, I found you on YouTube. Uh, what do you think about this program? What about this accreditation, this and that? And again, guys, like I don't have answers to everything, but from my experience being in grad school, from my experience of helping a bunch of people, I kind of know where to look. So this morning, um, it was somebody from a different state. I like looked up the accreditation body and in their state, it was the LPC. It wasn't the LMCH, the Licensed Mental Health Counseling uh, Accreditation or Licensure. So it was interesting. I like looked at the website and there was a lot of things that I couldn't like see on the website because you have to create an account and I wasn't about to do that because I don't live in that state. But you know, I talked to the person and I know they're doing their own research, which is great. But it's interesting because I don't think, and again, I have to do more research. I don't think KCREP applies in that state. So it just might be in certain states where you need KCREP accreditation. But um, I know federally they're trying to pass the thing where you get paid from Medicare or Medicaid, I always get those two mixed up, I'm sorry. I don't know <laughs> which is which, I forgot. But just make sure your programs are accredited or if the program's not accredited, that was the question. They said that their, that program had no accreditation. So to me, I'm like, okay, well, everything that our teachers have told us is make sure the program is accredited and in whatever body it needs to be accredited by because once you go asking for a licensure, they're gonna make you prove that you took those classes, that your internship and practicum and residencies and everything is valid and that program follows like, like the guidelines to be a licensed professional. So I would rather be in a program where there's some kind of accreditation. And the other thing that I'm thinking about right now is like, let's say the program's not accredited, let's say the state for LPC um, allows you to go without any type of accreditation. Let's say you wanna move to like Florida or somewhere, that's where I'm at, that's what I know about. Let's say you wanna move here and they're like, okay, well, your program wasn't accredited. Or maybe you could just move the licensure over, but then you have to take a test or something. So let's say you try to take the licensed mental health counseling test and the stuff that you learned in your program, you have no idea how to take this test because the test is based on a KCREP accredited program. So maybe that's like where you could come into a little bit of trouble, but I don't know. It's so different. Like in the United States, everything is broken up into different pieces. So you really have to do your own research. All right, the next subject that I wanted to talk about is school. 
I've been really trying to not overwhelm my, myself with like external things because I found out like I still listen to certain podcasts here and there for entertainment but I was like on my phone too much and doing my work and stuff but it, I let things consume me I was like oh I need to listen to this I need to read this I need to you know be on Instagram and do all these things and it's great and I feel like that was my season to like really attain knowledge and how people think and things like that but right now my everything about me is like I need peace like if I'm in the car I'm just gonna listen to music I might even turn the radio on and not listen to it I don't constantly need something you know to be feeding me information because then I think I, I can't think for myself that much you know what I'm saying like if you're always listening to something or people talking and things like that you don't have the time for like organic thought so I've been staying off of social media a little bit more and again I'm not really like this huge social media person I'm not but I really enjoy certain things and reading you know different blogs and stuff so yeah so that was the one thing I'm like taking it easy posting a little tiny bit less right now because I really do want to focus on these two classes I have and the class that I have and I'm gonna make a separate video about this but it's the cultural society and cultural theories class you guys it's gonna challenge you this class it's a lot and it's not just me it's like all the people in my class feel the same way there are certain things that you learn about where you're like, whoa, like, I don't really agree with this, or wow, this is, like, extreme, or, you know, there's just different things <laughs> that you'll, it's gonna challenge the way you were raised, where you're from, who you are, what color you are, everything, so, but that's the point of the class, you have to acknowledge your biases, and where you're from and how you were raised and today um, we did an assignment and it's like who are you supposed to be whose are you like who are your ancestors what were they you know and it makes you really dig deep and you know I talked to you guys like I'm from Europe and the country where I was from was under like communist Russian rule for a long time and the people were oppressed and they had no freedom of speech and you know my grandparents and their parents lived under that and that kind of rubbed off on my parents because it was still happening and then there was like the velvet revolution where when my parents were younger and it finally communism finally fell and they had to learn how to live in like a more democratic state and I was raised by them and then they moved me to America. So you have to really look at everything and how it changes you. And I bring this up because you're going to learn about it. And you have to get comfortable with what I'm talking about. That's the beauty of this field. So, yeah. I really, really enjoy learning about all this. But it's not easy. Alright guys, I think I'm going to leave that here today. This video was actually longer than I anticipated. Catch me at Katie Counseling over at Instagram. My name is Claudia. Have a good day. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Bye-bye. <laughs>